Nobody out there knows what's happened with this team. But when you win on this day, they will. When you do what everyone said is impossible, yeah. they will! Yeah. And when they find out how you did it, then all the earth will know that there is a God yeah. on this day! 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 What I love about this story and what Andy and I always look for in stories is the heart of it. I go to movies to be moved emotionally. And Woodlawn is a story that has all those elements. It has a big scale, it's a big story. Um, and it would be a wildly entertaining film, but it's, it's a film with heart. And the fact that it's true makes it that much more uh, important. I draw the line in the dust and toss the gauntlet before the feet of tyranny. And I say segregation now, segregation tomorrow, and segregation forever. The story is set in Birmingham, Alabama in the 1970s, and what you have to realize is that it had really been ripped apart by racism. Andy and I are from Birmingham, Alabama, so this is our home, so this story is very close to us. Um, we heard this story as children. Then in the 1970s, they started to integrate, and the last one of the last schools in Birmingham to integrate was a very historic high school named Woodlawn High School. There was a lot of problems, there was violence. The FBI actually wanted to shut the school down because of the problems in the school. I think you have to have different entry points into that story to make it interesting. And I think what makes Woodlawn so interesting is the characters. And in the middle of it is this coach, Tandy Geralds, that, um, that was a new coach at school and was really trying to create a winning football team, wanted to win at all costs, and stuck in an impossible situation, did not have a good football team. And in the fall of 1973, something happened, something that's hard to describe. What would you say if I told you it doesn't have to be this way? What would you be prepared to do? I'm asking you right now to stand up and make a decision to change, to forgive, to be forgiven. That's how much God loves you. What just happened? There was a spiritual awakening on the football team. This thing happened in the 1970s called the Jesus Movement. A chaplain came in and just began to work with the players and the team and there was a spiritual awakening. Nobody could really understand what was going on, but everybody understood that it was happening. And in the middle of this, one of the only black players on the team named Tony, who was a safety, Coach Gerald's moved him to running back. This kid was quiet. This kid was just trying to survive the chaos and violence in the school. There's something special about you. I can see it. You have a gift and you have to decide what you want to do with it. When you play for yourself, you can be great. But when you play for something higher than yourself, that's when something extraordinary can happen. Nathan, let's go. The coach decides to put Tony in the game at running back and give him a shot. And Tony, I, I talked to Tony, I sat down with him and I said, you know, did you know you could do what you, you, know, you did? And he said, no, did something happen that when the ball got put in my hand, I knew what to do. And when Tony got the ball, something happened. It was like Superman putting on his cape for the first time. Tony would step on to the field and just become a different person. spiritual awakening unified the team, they began to win. They weren't expected to win. They were only expected to win a couple games that year. And Tony, to a community that was, that was torn in half, somehow by the city embracing him as kind of the first black superstar, the city began to heal. And it led to the largest high school football game that's ever been played in the state of Alabama. 42,000 fans in the stands and 20,000 people outside can't get in. This high school football team that people wanted to come see this touchdown Tony kid and these big arch rivals and what they were labeling the game of the century. Look at me. I'm proud of you. Win or lose, you my son. It's a story about redemption and the power of belief, and the power of faith, 
how do you heal? How do you find hope? They found it on, on a football field. From that perspective, this story has tons and tons of heart. And I think that's what attracts me to any story. Uh, you know, we say pain is temporary, film is forever. And uh, I think this is one of those forever films that can you know, keep impacting people long after we're gone. What do you want to tell all of these people, huh? You say it when you run, Tony. You say it when you run. This is your moment. This is your time. So you go and take it. You go and take it. This is what happens when God shows up.